morning weather. Welcome back. Much more cloudy outside. As you look at the Westfield sky cam, very much and gotten more cloudy over the last couple of hours, and we're going to stay that way going into the evening where temperatures starting to drop across the region, but still retaining the 70s for a good majority of the region. 71 right now, Canastillo, 73 in both Penyon and Watkins Glen. Take it further south, 71 Ridgebury, 71 in Morris, and a 72 in Aaron here this evening. Likely to get down into the 40s tonight. We have a cold front coming. It's going to bring things down into the mid to lower 40s across the region. Then we won't have as much of a temperature increase tomorrow, getting back up just into the mid 50s. So around that average, a little bit below actually, cold front is packing a bit of a punch and it could be packing some showers as well as we go into the next couple of hours. So right now we got this band of clouds and embedded with it is a couple bands of showers. Now some of those have a lot more strength off to the west. Once they get over here, going to be pretty depleted, but they're still going to have a little bit of some showers left embedded in them. And we're going to see if there's a chance of those making their way in. So first we got a regional view. See, we have a few light clusters of showers here. Notice they're not, they're very disorganized. They're not really uh, bringing in too much. They're not like a full on structured line. Instead, very much spotty staying that way as we go in from the hours around eight to 12 o'clock. So we're going to see the best chance of some showers pass through, but some clouds will push through. Front goes in, wind direction changes from the north, brings in a lot more cold air to the region. So when you notice that wind direction, you know it's going to get a lot colder very quickly. And that's when we go into Thursday as well. So more of the local view. You can see just a few light showers here and again, very un unstructured, no real rhythm to them, just bringing in a few light bands over those couple of hours. Again, 8 to 12 is the best shot. We're going to see some showers in terms of any accumulations. No real need to put out the rain gauge. The, the grass going to be a little wet. Cars might be a little wet. Otherwise, not really too much to worry about in these time in these in these terms, I should say for these showers. The wind will be coming out of the northwest tomorrow. That's going to be fueling a lot of that cold air coming in, bringing those temperatures down back into the 50s and some of these gusts around the 15 to 20 mile per hour range. So not the most oomph behind them, but still enough that you'll certainly feel it when you're heading outside tomorrow. 57 are high for Thursday, mainly a partly cloudy sky before we get back up into the 60s for Friday. But yet another cold front is going to be bringing those showers into the region for the start of the weekend and the temperatures back down into the 50s as we start to see cooler conditions settle in to get further and further into October. So our five degree guarantee 76 was our forecast high an actual high of 78 for this last day of warmth that we've had across the region. We'll have a 43 tonight cool and breezy. So you'd see some 20 mile per hour gusts and some showers later on tonight. In the seven day forecast, we've got temperatures sitting in the 50s and 60s before potentially another a late October warm up coming up next week. Got some showers on Saturday. The weekend stays on the cooler side in the mid 50s. That carries over into next week. Could get back up into the 60s on Tuesday. We could have a very brief warm up in store midway through next week, 72 on Wednesday.